My amendment will provide support for those individuals who will be subject to the Medicaid work requirements that this legislature passed just last year, just last session, correct. The passage of the work requirement legislation last term was not without contention. But the majority that made those requirements a reality insisted it was about helping people get back to work. The 10 million requested by the governor, which, was my, which is my amendment, that will simply restore the 10 million back to the budget. To pre, it is to prevent thousands of Michiganders from losing their health care something that is so vital to keeping Michigan healthy, which we were told the work requirements were intended to do. Michiganders deserve better than to lose their health care because of work situations outside of their control. Think of the seasonal worker who experienced unexpected weather patterns who are unable to get back to their jobs as quickly as they would like, or those in the service industry who can't control from one week to the other, their hours, or someone who has checked all the right boxes, but due to underfunding consistently of DHHS, loses their health care because they're overwhelmed caseworker can't complete their paperwork on time. So let's put words in action. And let's restore the budget based on the governor's request of the 10 million. Let's make sure that the Department of Health and Human Services has the resources that it's been pleading for and that it needs to protect healthcare access and ensure those participating in healthy Michigan are able to work. Please join me in protecting the health care coverage of Michiganders across our state by voting and supporting this so needed amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for your time. The question is on the adoption of the amendment. The clerk will open the board. The amendment is not adopted. <laughs>